This van, which was loaded with 1,200 pounds of explosives. Kathleen's waited years for justice that will never come. Her husband died alongside five soldiers when the IRA held his family hostage and forced him to drive a bomb into an army base. What they did to Patsy has been condoned. And all the other atrocities are being condoned. At the end of the day, they're getting away with what they've done. So let me ask whoever's listening to this, how would you feel if you're in my position? The bill will end the prosecution of British soldiers for historical offences in Northern Ireland. But terrorists will also be granted immunity, so there's opposition from victims on all sides. It's a huge test for Anglo-Irish relations, Dublin weighing up a human rights case against London for the first time in 52 years. And we are seriously considering uh, taking a case to the European Court on human rights. We have to think about the victims, um, the victims of IRA violence, uh, victims of uh, acts that were committed by British soldiers in Northern Ireland. Um, for them, it's not just in the past. If anyone accused of murder gives information to a truth recovery body, they'll escape prosecution. The government rejecting a last-minute amendment from the Lords to give victims a greater say. Although I am sympathetic to the intent behind uh, the Lords Amendment 44E, giving family members a role in deciding whether immunity should or should not be granted um, immunity risks undermining the effectiveness of these provisions and the principal aim of information recovery. Jerry visits the grave of his brother Jackie every day. Jackie is the 17-year-old victim in this iconic image from Bloody Sunday in Londonderry. His family has campaigned for justice ever since. If I draw a line now, I am letting my brother down and other people that died in the, at the hands of the British Army. And I made a promise one time, and I intend to keep that promise going for as long as I'm here on this earth. So you're angry? I'm very, very angry. We never got the chance to finally finish grieving. We are still grieving because we never got any justice. The government says this legislation draws a line under the past, but the families of those killed during the Troubles say it doesn't offer closure for victims because it is the perpetrators who will get to choose between truth and justice. Three and a half thousand people were murdered during the Northern Ireland conflict. Two and a half thousand of those cases remain unresolved. And it's those who've already paid most who are being asked to pay again.